the prison and everything. After, I, after even after everything, he says a beautiful thing. I am Joseph, your brother. Please come near me. Third line he says, do not be angry with yourself. Or be grievous with yourself. This is a this is a problem with many many, many of the people. Moment gone, you know, you might have, you might have done a lot of wrong things in your life. A thousand of wrong things have you ever done in life. Moment even after become a believer, you might have done a lot of wrong things in your life. But you know, you know what the God says today. Don't be angry with yourself. Don't be. You know why many people go on committing sins because they are angry with, you, with their own self. You know, they are angry with some person. Moment when they do something, you know, they actually angry with their own self. You know, just imagine. Who had to be angry? No, Joseph who had to become the angry person. He says the one, no, don't be angry. You all try to solve me. Maybe you all meant something for him, for, for my bad. But God meant it for my good. It is not you who brought me here, he says. It is God who has brought me here. And this is the thing what Joseph says. It is not you who brought me over here to become a king. It is God who sent me before so that I can preserve your life afterwards. This is what this is what Joseph says. God sent me beforehand so that I, I can, so that I can just uh, uh, be a be a way to you all. Just I can preserve your life. You know, so so is uh, so this brothers actually they are very fearful. He says one thing: you pray, please come near me. Don't be angry with your brother. The moment the moment Joseph Joseph talking to their brothers, their fear went out. You know, so in similar in our lives, if we talk with Jesus, the fears will go automatically out. You might have thousands of fears. You might have how can I approach God? But you 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 need to talk to him daily. The moment you talk to him, all the fears will automatically come out of your life. Automatically, all fears will go out of your life. This is the God we serve. He wants to be, he wants to be a, like, as a brother, as a big bro. I always call him as a big bro. Uh, in my personal talk, I call my, my father as a dad, and I call Jesus as a big bro or bro. That, that's I think my, my personal style actually. So I want you all to call Jesus as a big bro because he, he knows everything. He knows in, in and out. At last, I say that the, 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 the last line of Joseph. Joseph says one thing. Now go tell my father. Go tell my father the glory that I am the Lord of his life. They go and tell my father about my glory, about that I am the king. Because father, father thinks that his son is dead. But there is ten brothers. You go right now and go tell my brother the glory of my, the glory of uh, the glory of what I become. That I become a lot of Today, when similar in, in 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 churches, this has to be. Many times, many times, God likes those songs, you know, which which, which tell them about Jesus Christ. So uh, maybe maybe if you are a worship or maybe you are a worship leader, you know, God wants you to. Tell one thing, you know what I think. The same man which, which this man says, he, this man, this man Joseph says, go to my father. The, the about that I am Lord of all things. Similarly, in, in our lives, we, in our worship, you know, we, we need to tell about Jesus to Almighty Father. We need to sing praises about Jesus to Almighty Father. We, we need to tell Jesus a beautiful person for us. He is a, a Lord of all, he is a King of God to our Father. This is the best worship. This was always accept, expected. You know, it's always accepted actually. Oh, this worship is always accepted. The moment, the moment I, I want every worshiper also. I don't say about worship either. I want every worshiper to bring all the worship in the name of Jesus to God. The moment you try to praise the name of Jesus, it's like a sweet aroma to going to your Almighty Father. This should be in each and every worship. Maybe it has to be in each and every worship thing of the church. You, 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 you need to sing songs of Jesus, which can, which can glorify the Father. You, 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 you all need to tell the Father about Jesus. It's the best worship. If you want to define worship, it's the best worship. Tell the Father about Jesus. It's the best worship. We hear that Father, I just thank you because your son has done this thing to This is a real worship. I don't think worship is only singing songs with guitar or something. Worship is, is, is a personal communication. Worship is not, the, worship is not what, what only worship team can do. It can be done by everybody. Everybody is a worshiper. God has called me. In the end times, the word of God says, He's not calling worship leaders. He's calling worshipers. God says, I am just seeking worshipers who will worship me in spirit and soul. And God is seeking these people. Definitely God is seeking these people. And God wants you to all be worshippers. Now, now, now let me uh, break uh, about Jesus as our brethren. You know people about, uh, as I told you about a lot of story about uh, the this, this story of Joseph. And about, so it was just, just the same of Jesus. So now let me tell you about Jesus. The moment Jesus rose from the dead, he met Mary Ma the Magdalene, a woman called as Mary Magdalene. He said one thing to Mary Magdalene. Go tell my brethren, I am going to Galilee. I like this part, you know, he says, go tell my brethren. Go and tell. Before God says, go and preach, he said, go and tell that I am your brothers. Go and tell my brethren. What does this thing mean? When Jesus was on the screen, he never called anybody as brothers. When his disciples, he called them by name, but he never called them as brothers. But the moment when Jesus died and he rose from the dead, he said, go and tell my brothers. 
The moment that Jesus rose from the dead, he said, Today come, today one of you all have become my brothers and sisters. The moment that Jesus was uh, risen from the dead, he said one thing, From today on us, you all are my brothers and sisters. Everybody. He, he indicated that. That's why he said one thing, Go and tell my brothers, I am going to Galilee. And, 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 and other, you know, other this, uh, gospel it says, Go and tell them, I am going to you, your father and my father, your God and my God. And I was observing for a lot of time. Why was this word, my God, my God? Listen here one more time. First time the word my God, my God was Jesus said when he was on the cross. Second time the, the word my God, my God was said when he was risen from the thing. I was thinking why did Jesus say this only two times in the entire life, my God, my God. He said the word my father a lot of times. But only two times he said this word my God, my God. One time, the first time he said my God when he was on the cross. Now why did he say that time? Because that time he was a lamb actually we offered to God. Second time uh, when he said my God, my God, that time he was he, he was risen from the dead. And he was like a high priest going to heaven and depressing. Uh, let's turn to uh, if you have a Bible so maybe I can turn it. Let's turn to Hebrews. Hebrews uh, chapter 2. Verse 17. It says, therefore, in all things he had to be he had to be like his brethren. That he might be a merciful and faithful high priest and things pertaining to God to make propitiation for sins of the people. The word of Paul is very clearly, he had to be a high priest. If God had to be a high priest, he, he says that he had to be like his brothers. He has to be like the, one of their brothers. So this Jesus, he became a brother as well. The moment he rose from the dead, he became a brother. A, a very own close brother, a very close brother. More, more, than a, more than a physical brother can understand. He understands everything. To Jesus has become as a brother. You know, where, where, you know the, the, the moment the man is very violent, wanted to come and touch Jesus. He said, don't touch me. Because he said, I am going to my father. No, why was he going to his father? Because he wanted to pour the same blood on the mercy seat, which is in heaven. The same blood. Because the, the second time Jesus was healed, he said, you can, he said that uh, people thought he is a spirit. But he said one thing. A spirit does not have flesh and bones. He never indicated the reward called blood. But every blood from his body was put upon in heaven uh, under the mercy seat. From that day on, from that time on, on my father, on my father, whenever he sees the blood, he doesn't remember his sins. He says, Your sins and all and, and your, all your wickedness or everything, I will remember no more. He is going, not going to remember your sins now. He is going, never going, ever going to remember your sins. Because he always sees the blood. Always sees the blood. And uh, now let me tell you something from, from the book of Hebrews. I like the very beautiful line from, from the book of Hebrews. Chapter 2, verse 11, 12. What about this very clearly? For both he who sanctifies and those who are sancti being sanctified are all of one. For, for which reason he is not ashamed to call them brethren. And saying, I will declare your name to my brethren. In the midst of the assembly, I will sing praises to you. I, I like this line of, of this line a lot because it says that he's not ashamed to call us a brothers. Maybe you might be thousand, doing thousands of things wrong. Maybe you might be doing thousands of things here and there. I think maybe you might be messing up your life. But he's not ashamed to call you as a brother. But this is what Jesus says. Jesus is not ashamed to call you as a brother. He's very happy to call you as his brother. He's not ashamed. Maybe you might do anything, but still he says you are my brother. Maybe this day you might have done a lot of things wrong, but still he says you are my brother. This is what the word of God says. He's not ashamed to call you as brother. The word of God says he who sanctifies and he who is being sanctified is our same family. What does that mean? It is God who sanctifies. It is we who are being being sanctified. There is a difference between being holy and doing holy. Many people want to do holy things to become holy. But the, 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 you, you, you need to be holy as he is holy. Not to do holy things. To